many things have gone into the process of how we reached to where we are today. Maybe the, uh, the oldest memory, I should say, I have of what uh, ignited us to try to look into this was, I think, the, one of the programs I had gone somewhere and I saw, uh, I think, a beer bottle of I don't know, one of the beers and a printed label uh, on a computer printed out or some even written by hand and stamped on, you know, stuck on that bottle, beer bottle saying, you know, pineapple wine. And uh, we tasted it and it was really good and really great. But the packaging and the bottling and everything we saw, I think if anybody else had seen it, they would have never bought it. It's as simple as that. And I think the series of such events and uh, obviously discussions led to us realizing that there is a huge potential in this. And hence, this has a potential to really, I guess, uh, I mean, this has the, uh, you know, the capability to, or the potential to unlock a huge uh, capacity that is just lying, uh, you know, dormant, I should say. And that is the reason why when we saw all of this, we were convinced that there has to be a proper system, a proper policy, a proper framework, a proper support structure, a proper ecosystem that is going to allow the local flute winemakers to really flourish in our state, which would then unlock the potentials that are there for agriculture, for farmers, for tourists, for entrepreneurs, so on and so forth. So that's what went into all of this. And let me just tell you and share with you that this building that you're seeing and the structure you're seeing in front of us, is, is, it doesn't have, didn't happen just like that. There's a lot of work that has gone into it, a lot of thought, the thought process, and a lot of energy by some really, really great people that has actually made this possible. So of course the people who are applying for it, they know it. It's not like a normal license. You don't have to pay so much. It is very, very nominal fees, mainly meant to only uh, complete the process of registration so that we actually have a, you can keep a track on all the registrations taking place. But the license in itself is very, very nominal. I was told that there was some problem in it. I assure you that we will make the process smoother wherever the possibility is there to cut the time, we will do that. But point being that we are not charging much, we're making it very easy for them to access it uh, so that they can get the license. And in days to come, we are exploring. We have not yet gone into the exact details of it. We would like to see that these wines would be more uh, marketable in terms of, just like they're selling in the hotels, we're hopeful that in different tourist locations, in different tourist shops, even though it may not be, uh, a wine shop, but uh, the local wines, the wines that are made in a, by our people, uh, those wines will be accessible at least in certain kind of tourist locations to the shop so that people can actually buy and take the local wine. So you will not need a license to actually sell the local wine. So I think that kind of uh, policy making is required. For that we are trying to obviously talk to all the stakeholders and ensure that uh, it is rolled out smoothly.